I'll be safe if I can make it there. I hope. Please let me make it there. Was so surreal. Famously called film little little pieces of time. But he could, but he could be talking about photography as he likely was likely was. These pieces of time. Okay, I'm in class. Every, everything's time. cool. I am okay. From light to shadow, from color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep. And that Anybody? sure didn't feel like a dream. Bueller? Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers, sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Tortured, right? <laughs> and frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though. I, c I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation. And any one of you could do that to me. <laughs> Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? What if Arbus chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? She had a brilliant eye. So she could have taken another approach. I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of her work. I prefer... Robert Frank. Me too, Victoria. He captured the essence of post-war beat America. And there was honesty about the economic conditions of the air, but a beauty in the struggle. Look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. You, you don't have beauty without a beat, which explains why Frank was Kerouac's photographic muse. And both were the great chroniclers of the 1950s. Well, we've all seen that iconic shot of Kerouac on the shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I did know, but I kind of forgot. You either know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes, a process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. <laughs> Very good, Victoria. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. You can find out all about him in your textbook, or even online. 
And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Yes, Victoria, you still Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing ass. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition, everybody in class is turning in a photo, so you see the dilemma? I know, Mr. Jefferson. I just worked so hard in the shot, and I'm sure you know what- Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. You didn't tell me how cute I looked yet. I was about to. I'm not paying you. Always Welcome to the real world. Just cute? Hot. Then I might send you a special picture of Jerry. Max wants everybody to see how he plays it so sharp. I need a serious time out in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that guy, it's so fucking boring. She's so fucking shy. selfies with a giant camera. To all of you, American girls, it's sad to It looks like she's been gone for months. Imagine a world without you. American girls, I'd like to be part of the world around you. Driving a car by the seaside, watching the world from the bright side. Empty, good. Nobody can see my meltdown, except for me. <sighs> Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. It's cool, Nathan. Don't stress. You're okay, bro. Just count to three. 
Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. You're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come on, put that thing don't down! Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! What the fuck? How? How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us in our I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color to cure. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings. This is real. Now, can you give me an example of Man, a photographer I cannot believe who this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, I might as well go all the way. Can I actually reverse time? Why Arvis? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like... I did example it. of a photographer who perfectly captured the human machine. condition in black and white. Anybody? Bueller? Max, don't freak Not out. Arvis. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her images. Keep it of together, Max. Faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. Right? If he does bullshit. again, I'll know this is for real. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though. I could frame any one of you in- Shh, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming As this. You all know, it's real. Has been I can tell. The early 1800s. Your generation so was it not can go back in time. For selfie expression. Well, that girl isn't dead yet. The point Can I save that her? The portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self portraits? I'm sorry, but I really have to use the bathroom. Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me after class. Louis class. A French and I need time to save that girl. Types? A process that, process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. Very good, Victoria. What if I rewind again process. and give him the right answer? Since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. 
but you can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. Yes, Victoria, you still have to do your homework this week. Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition, everybody in class is turning in a photo, so... Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure I have one. Given your selfie output, I'm sure you must have about a thousand pics by now. It'll take a long time to find a good one. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Everybody in class. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm on top of it. I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. Okay, Max, retrace every step. I washed my face. I shredded my photo. Then the butterfly flew in. And I took a photo. Leave them out of this bitch! I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Come Don't on, put that thing ever down! Tell me what to do. Wow, well, sir, it's happening again. People are trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass. I need a hammer to break it open. Get away from me, psycho! Sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! Oh. Holy shit, I can't let this happen. If I can reverse time again, I can help her. For this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? No way! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Another shitty day. That did not happen. This cannot be real. I just saw a girl get shot and then saved her. What the fuck is going on? Do not freak out. I know it's smelling smoke. 
Hey, do you hear that fire alarm? That means you should be outside. I have to use the bathroom. Girls always use that excuse. Excuse for what? For whatever you're up to. Your face is covered in guilt. The alarm tripped me out. Then trip on out of here, Missy. Or are you hiding something? Huh? Thank you, Mr. Madsen. The situation is under control. There's no emergency here. Leave Miss Caulfield alone and please turn off that alarm since that's your job. Job. You look a little stressed out. Are you okay? I'm... I'm just a little worried about my future. You're sweating balls. Is that all you're thinking about? You can always be upfront with me, Max. Or have you done something wrong? Is that it? Well, Max, talk to me. I just saw Nathan Prescott waving a gun around in the girls' room. Nathan Prescott. You sure? Yes. He was in the bathroom talking to himself with a gun. I saw everything. He was babbling like crazy. Okay, slow down. Slow down. So now you saw this without him seeing you. I was hiding behind a stall. I have the right to be there. It's the girls' room. I know. I know. I just want to be completely clear what happened. Mr. Prescott happens to be from the town's most distinguished family, and one of Blackwell's most honored students. So it's hard for me to see him brandishing a weapon in the girls' bathroom. So what happened next? Then... then he left. I ran out here wondering what to do. Are you gonna bust him? This is a serious charge. I'll look into the matter personally. Thank you for bringing it to my attention. That's it? After what I told you? We'll continue this discussion later in my office. Please go outside with the rest of your class now, Miss Caulfield. Of course this academic drone won't do anything since the Prescott family owns Blackwell now. Should I rewind and change my story? Nathan Prescott, please come to the front office. Thank you. 